Hi, my name is Gerald Simon and I'm the president and founder of Music Motivation. And every week I come out with a brand new cool song. It's part of an annual subscription I created to help teach music theory the fun way. So right now I'm going to play Ethereal. This is my new cool song for this week. It's in the key of D major. And I wanted to, wanted to teach the D major scale and the intervals created from the D major scale. Watch this, I'll play it at performance speed and then I'll play it at practice speed. Now we have the waves in the background. It kind of completes the ambiance of the whole piece. But I'm going to play the same thing right now at practice speed where we've cut the tempo in half. Performance speed is about 120 beats per minute. And practice speed is cut in half where it's about 60 beats per minute. Let me play this at practice speed. And then after I do that, I'll explain the theory. And I'll teach you about the scale and the intervals from the D major scale. Watch this.
So that is the cool song for this week. And again, it's ethereal, but it's in the key of D major. And I wanted to teach students how to play the D major scale one octave, and then we can challenge them to play it two, three, four octaves up and down the piano, but then also play all of the intervals created from the D major scale. So watch this, I'll play the D major scale. Watch my right hand. We have two sharps, we have F sharp and C sharp in the key of D major. So I'm just going from D to D, the fingering is 1, 2, 3, cross under, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. With the left hand it's 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, cross over, 3, 2, 1. So that's the D major scale. Now from that we're going to create the intervals. Interval just means distance from one note to the next. So I can say first, second, third, fourth, fifth. Watch this. That's a first. D to E, that's a second. D to F sharp, that is my third. D to G is my fourth. D to A is my fifth. D to B is my sixth. D to C sharp is my seventh. D to D is my eighth or my octave. So those are my intervals created from the D major scale. So what I tell students to do is just take a few intervals. Now we can do harmonic and melodic. Harmonic is when you play them together. Sometimes they're referred to as blocked intervals. If I said harmonic third, I could play D and F sharp together. Watch this. So I can play the harmonic third, I can play harmonic second, harmonic fourth, harmonic fifth. If I said to play a harmonic fifth from D, I would play D and A. Pretty simple, not too difficult. If we break them apart, they are called broken intervals or melodic. So melodic second, melodic third, melodic fourth, melodic fifth, melodic sixth, melodic seventh, and melodic eighth or octave. So I tell students just start playing intervals and sometimes I'll call out random intervals and I'll just say first, second, third, fourth, fifth to have them try to play these intervals. Watch. I'm going to say third, fourth, second, fifth. Third, fourth, second, fifth. Third, fourth, second, fifth. Well, what if I said eight, seven, six, five? And the nice thing is we can have so many different kinds of intervals, not just starting from D, but any note. I could have a third here. I could have a third here. I could have a third here.
Try playing those thirds and then see if you can create something. I'm just going to start playing around with the intervals from the D major scale and then I'll see if I can come up with something. Watch. With my left hand I'm going to play a fifth interval and then I'll just go back and forth from a fifth to a third. In my right hand I'll just play around with whatever interval from the D major scale. I threw in a fourth with my left hand. Have fun playing around with these intervals. It's not too difficult. If you look at the first line of Ethereal, the left hand is playing third intervals pretty much the entire time until we get to measure three where we throw in a fourth and then we go back to the third where we're rotating back and forth from a third interval to a fourth. Not too difficult. So have fun playing ethereal and then trying to create a cool song of your own where you use the intervals created from the D major scale. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to send me an email. Gerald Simon, J E R A L D S I M O N at musicmotivation.com. I'd also love to have you watch all of my other cool songs. Every week I come out with a new cool song. They're posted on my website, but also on my YouTube page. That is youtube.com slash Gerald Simon. Thank you so much for watching. I'll have a new cool song next week. But until then, work on Ethereal and practice the D major scale. See if you can go up and down the keyboard. One, two, three, four octaves. Try this. So I just played a D major scale, nothing fancy. I went up and down a few octaves. It was very simple. The fingering again with the right hand is one, two, three, cross under, one, two, three, four, five. But if you're going to keep going up and do more than one octave, instead of putting your pinky down that fifth finger, put your thumb and cross under and keep going. Watch. Try playing around with that. I hope you have fun with this cool song and have fun creating a cool song of your own. That is why I want to come out with these cool songs. Not only to help you learn something fun to play and to have a video where you can watch and learn the theory the fun way, but where you can take that theory and apply it. It's that practical application where you create something of your own. Thanks again for watching. Until next time, keep working on this and have a great week.